So here I'm just going to do a few squats. I'm going to start with a wall ball squat with a band around my legs. Just got a resistance band tied just above my knees around my legs. I'm going to start by standing against the wall with a ball placed right in my lower back. I want to make sure I've looked after myself so I've squeezed that pelvis that um, so, sorry, squeeze that glutes to organise my pelvis, make sure my ribs are under control, I've dropped them down slightly, become nice and firm through here, switched on looking after myself as I do this squat. All I'm going to do from this position is just squatting straight down. So I see I'm using that ball to give me a little bit of support, so I'm really focusing on how my glutes are working throughout this squat. As I drop down, I want to make sure that I keep these knees out, the band's not pulling them in, but I'm fighting against the band and really switching on through the glutes to get that rotation happening as I squat down. When that starts to feel comfortable, you can get rid of the ball and just do a normal squat. So again, same starting position. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes forward, Squeeze those glutes to look after the pelvis. I've tucked my ribs in nice and firm through the core. Everything's working for, to support me. And here, I'm just going to take that sort of that backside back or take the hamstrings backwards as I drop down into my squat. Those knees are staying back. They're slightly going out to the side as I get that external rotation happening, using my glutes to externally rotate here, taking those knees out and then back up. So really important I'm taking those hamstrings back to start this movement rather than bringing the knees forward to get my squat happening. My hamstrings go back, knees go out and then back up. Making sure a lot of this work is happening from my glutes.